yeah hi hello everyone this is shanmugaraj welcome to my channel one of the aims of this channel is to build a global knowledge sharing platform in the domains of project management agile and leadership you can help me with that aim either by subscribing to my channel or sharing my videos to our friends who are in need of it right so having said that let us get into today's topic currently we are discussing topics in safe 6.0 particularly glossary items today's topic is supplier who is a supplier let us begin with a statement from edwards deming a long term relationship between purchaser and supplier is necessary for best economy so now understand the importance of having a long term relationship with your supplier a supplier is an internal or external organization that develops and delivers solution components subsystems or services to the arts and development value streams right so your supply can be your internal departments or can be your external organization that help you to deliver certain intended solution or subsystems or some kind of a services to your arts and uh, development value streams right they can cut across at any stage right lean agile enterprises deliver value to customers in the shortest possible lead time with the highest possible quality suppliers support this mission by providing their unique competencies skills and existing solutions to accelerate and reduce the cost of value delivery many solution trends and agile release trends depend on suppliers performance for their value delivery supplier will use varying development and delivery methods nonetheless the safe enterprise treats strategic suppliers as long term business partners involving them deeply in the solutions definition and building activities they also work with suppliers to help them adopt lean agile mindsets and practices for the economic benefit of both parties right so what they're trying to say here is in safe context suppliers will be traveling with you you being responsible or you try to impart them with lean agile mindsets and practices right because they have to travel with you they have to adopt your you know uh, practices and things right they can be part of an individual value stream as such right but end of the day they are part of an art or a solution trend so they will be impacting your life you will be impacting their life so it is very important that you guys are in coalition that means a supplier and purchaser are should be traveling together always suppliers play a critical role in safe they provide unique expertise and existing components that accelerate solution delivery some suppliers are external to the enterprise others work within the organization producing solutions as part of a another value stream suppliers will have their own mission additional customers and economic framework that drive their decision making processes for organization to achieve mutual benefits close collaboration and trust are required what are the different types of suppliers supplier relationship are varied as the suppliers and enterprise have many types of contractual associations with external entities some common relationship patterns include licensing commodity components and services some suppliers provide commodity solutions for example web developers build their applications on platforms like wordpress 
and utilize third party services to authenticate email addresses and process credit cards. When working with these suppliers, solution builders should maintain alignment between their solution roadmap and their suppliers roadmaps and release schedules. Second type is contracting individuals and teams. Some suppliers provide skills vital to delivery, ranging from, ranging from domain and technical expertise to the SPC and team coach roles that support a lean, agile, safe transformation. So these suppliers should operate like other safe practitioners on teams and trends. Third type is contracting an entire development effort. Some organization may outsource all development for a solution to a supplier who provide agile teams, product management, architectural support, and other expertise. Ideally, these suppliers operate harmoniously with safe practices with the organization acting as a business owners to gain the development effort. So most of the IT services operating in this fashion, right? As you see in the safe big picture, a fourth type of supplier provides strategic customized solution requiring co-development. That is fourth type of supply is co-developing a solution. Co-development suppliers provide strategic customized solution that require collaborative development and frequent integration with the overall solution. This model of operating also quite common in IT service companies. Their participation is necessary for the success of the larger solution and must be integrated to support more complex and strategic contributions than the other supplier models. Specifically, they contribute customized code solutions, subsystems and other, other assets. What is a supplier in SAFE? Suppliers in SAFE provide solutions and services to a SAFE development value stream to integrate into a large solution, right? If you see the picture, right, there's a supplier who is part of development value stream and who supports integration into a larger solution. The direct customer is the DBS consuming the supplier's work, right? Together, the direct customer and supplier define and evolve the technical interface described in the solution context. They also establish how the DVS will consume the supplies changes as their solution evolves, right? As shown by the uh, direct customer's operational value stream, right? For example, suppliers may directly integrate their changes into DVS's continuous delivery pipeline, or they may periodically package their solution and provide it to the DBS developers for them to integrate. Together, they must address installation, support, training, and other OBS concerns. This particular picture also shows how suppliers have customers at multiple levels. In addition to meeting their direct customer needs, Suppliers must also understand how the end user or indirect customer employs their solution. Suppliers apply design thinking to understand the needs of all critical customer. Right? So we need to understand suppliers being part of DBS to their direct customer and indirectly they will be servicing the end user or indirect customers as well. So they are also in a position to apply concepts like design thinking or a lean startup, right? With that, we have come to the conclusion of uh, this particular video. Hope you guys got a fair understanding on who is a supplier in the context of SAFE 6.0. In SAFE context, supplier can be internal or external. They can be part of DVS or OBS. They'll be supporting direct customer as well as indirect customers. 
they also will be carrying a lean agile mindset and lean agile practices along with them to be uh, in collaboration with value stream or art we also talked about different types of uh, coalition or different types of contracts for suppliers we talked about supplying the a specific talent or niche talent we talked about you know co-development we talked about you know subcontracting certain part of the solutions right there are different types of con suppliers different types of contracting you know you might have experienced in your organization we also talked about you know what is supply in the context of safe 6.0 how they support two levels of customers right so hope you guys enjoy these kind of videos that helps you to boost up your agile knowledge and agile vocabulary in turn that helps you to build your career development to the next level right so with that i'm signing off see you in the next video